Hey guys, this is Twist Craft Girls, bringing you another rainbow loom bracelet tutorial. Today we are going to teach you how to make the fishtail rainbow loom bracelet. This is what it looks like when it's finished. The things you'll need to make this bracelet are your loom, a hook, one C-clip, and two piles of rubber bands. You can use as many colors as you want, but today I will only be using two. Before you start, you want to make sure that your loom is flipped and the pegs are C-shaped. For this bracelet, we are only going to be using these two pegs. When you're ready to start, you're going to take your first rubber band and you're going to make a figure eight. You're going to put them on the two pegs that um the bottom. So it should look like that. Make sure that the figure eight keeps its form or else the bracelet won't work. Then you're going to push down. You're going to take your next rubber band and you're not going to figure eight it. And you're just going to put it on those two pegs and push down. This bracelet, you want to make sure you push down or else you won't have any space to do anything else. You're going to take your next rubber band. You're going to put it on top of the last one. Again, not figure eighting it. For this bracelet, you don't you only figure eight the bottom one. Also, you hook as you go so you don't lay out the rubber bands first and hook second. Now you're ready to start hooking. You want to make sure you only have three rubber bands on these two pegs or else the bracelet won't turn out how you want it to be. You're gonna grab the bottom rubber band I always start on the right, and you want to make sure you only grab the right side. I'm going to pull it off the peg and put it on top so that you make that little hoop. Then you're going to do the same with the other side and the same rubber band. Pull it off and make that little hoop. Then you want to grab both rubber bands and pull down. Just like that. Then you're going to take your bottom color rubber band and put it on top. Don't figure it. And push down. Gonna do the same thing as you did hooking the first rubber band. Grab the right side, pull it off, and make that little hoop. Go to the left side, get that rubber band, pull it off, and make that little hoop. Then you're gonna pull both rubber bands. So you look at that. Then you're going to take your bottom color, put it on. Two bits, and push down. You're going to grab the right part of the bottom rubber band and you're going to pull it off and make that little hoop. Then you're going to do the same with the left bottom. Just look like that. Then you want to grab the bottom two rubber bands and pull. You want to make sure you only have the bottom two rubber bands because it won't really work if you pull the other rubber bands. It should look like that. Then you want to take your bottom color again, put it on top like that, and push down. You're going to take your hook, you're going to grab the bottom right, make that little hoop, and then do the same thing. Grab the bottom two and pull. I'll show you just a few more times. You're going to take your bottom color rubber band, put it on that peg and the other peg, push down. You're going to grab the bottom right, make that little hoop, move the bracelet over so it doesn't get in the way, and do the same with the other side. Grab the two bottom, and pull. Bottom color rubber band, put it on the two pegs, push down, up the bottom right, make that hoop, the same with the left. I'll show you one more time. Your bottom color, put it on the two pegs, and push down. You're gonna hook the bottom right, and move, brace over, making that hoop, do the same with the left, and pull. Do this until you think it's long enough for your rest. This is what you look like when you think the brace is long enough for your rest. You should have two rubber bands left over. 
the way to make sure the bracelet is a good size for your wrist is by putting your wrist in the middle of the bracelet and kind of moving it a little bit closer to the loom. And then you pull the loose end of the bracelet towards the loom. And it should the bottom rubber band should touch the pegs. Like that. I use 48 rubber bands, but you should make it as long as it is for your wrist. Now we're going to take the rubber bands off the back. You're going to take both the rubber bands, so the black, the black and the pink, and you're going to make sure you have them tight in your hands, like this. Then you're going to let go on one end, but don't pull it out, and you're going to take the top rubber band, for instance, mine is pink, you're going to grab both ends. Then you're going to pull these two rubber bands through, and they should come off. So it should look like this. Then we're going to make a knot. You're going to take one end, and you're going to put it through the other end. And you're going to pull it up. So to make that knot. Now we're going to C clip it. So you're going to put both ends in the C clip and attach it. Okay. On the other end. Then you can wear your bracelet. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!